be heard. Our first citizen is Matthew and Deborah Williams. Please come forward. State your name and address for the record. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Deborah Williams, and this is my husband, Matthew Williams. Our address is 4775 Bethany Drive, Hay Howard, Georgia. Um, did you need a phone number? No, ma'am. No, okay. I have three points that I need to express. Point number one, we've been here several times complaining about a ditch that's on our property, that we have an easement with the county. Now this ditch should have been tied into Bay Branch. Currently, the ditch is now spilling onto our property, causing, <coughs> spilling onto our property because it's not being maintained properly by the county. And it does not tie into Bay Branch as the easement stated. The ditch is bringing water from other places and it stands on our land. Now we have property damage, we have a barn that's damaged, we have a shelter that is being destroyed, and we have seven acres of our 14 acres, which is not much, that we can't use. Point number two, my question is to you all, why is the county, county not being held accountable for the damage? And why is the county not trying to correct this? And this has been happening over eight to 10 years. Point number three, since Lowndes County is not willing to do anything or they won't do anything, we are asking that this ditch be relocated from our property immediately and that this ditch be filled. We've been here, we're tired, and we need something done. My husband wants to say. We've been promised by just about everybody up there that they would go come out and look at the ditch and take care of it. Uh, Back in April, when we had that flash flood, the water came out on Bethany up on the other end and damaged the road. Now, mind you that that same water is coming on down on our property. I got out there, I took a picture. We got two four-foot cuts with a tail deep, 32 feet wide, eight feet deep, because you got the four-foot covers, and then it's about four-foot drop. And that ditch was full, and it was running over. And then once it make the curve, then it's washing out a cover back on the back side of the property where our pond is. And uh, it's just not fair to us as taxpayers. This hand, y'all are saying that our, our property get more and more valuable. But on this hand, you're destroying it. So we are caught in between. And we just, like she said, we want, we really want you to cut it up. Uh, we just tired of it. We tired of it. We thought we were doing something to help the community when we gave the easement to run that ditch through there. But it does help the community, but it doesn't help us. Uh, last year, we got ready to get out of insurance. They was going to cancel it because the water stands in the barn, stands under the shelter. I got several thousand dollars worth of equipment. This just out in the yard. Uh, and we got several thousand dollars worth of equipment. And it's not fair to us as taxpayers. I look around, I see the kind of working in the different subdivisions, and I'm not against growth, but I think you ought to go about it the right way. The infrastructure first. Because 
since we that did was fine, when they started building Bethany they Southern Bridge, we started having trouble with that ditch. And we've been complaining off and on ever since then. And nobody done nothing. And I guess that's it. My time is up. Okay. All right, if, uh, if you can stay a few minutes after the meeting, uh, be just a few minutes, I'll, I'll, I'll have one. All right, thank you. All right, our next citizen.